All right, Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom, and salute to the hopefully elect. This is Ashan coming at you once again with another video. And um, I'm out here at Lake Clifton Park. Um, as you see over there, let me try to get a good shot. That's a tennis court over there. And uh, through the spurt, you know, if you could glance right over that hill, that was a plant, an actual plantation uh, house, right? Um, I'm not going to dig too deep in, the, uh, in the, the history about that, uh, Lake Clifton, uh, but this, all this part, this is a, a major big park, uh, the second largest one besides Drew Hill Park in Baltimore City, which is to the West Baltimore. You got Drew Hill Park for West Baltimore, and then for East Baltimore, you got Lake Clifton. I went to this high school. Actually, I graduated from, graduated from this. It's a high school. Right over those, it's like a, a little uh, hill right there. Right over those trees, it's a high school. And that was known, damn, I, I wish I could have got a, a picture of that. Uh, because Lake Clifton, that's known as the the uh, the largest uh, school in the nation. I mean, if you look at that bad boy, you got her and Ron. If you look at Lake Clifton... That motherfucker looked just like a jail. I'm telling you, Lord willing, I if I, you know, um, if I'm in this area, I'll try to get a, uh, I'll, um, you know, live feed or record the uh, actual Lake Clifton school because they shut it down. They closed it down, but it's it, it, it's no different from a jail. We go into that sometimes. Uh, the elders, um, the elder at my camp, the brothers at my camp, we go into that history how. They, uh, it's the schools and the jails are connected. That's how Esau got us, man. But um, any old way to get to the point, um, what I wanted to talk about is this this truth. This truth is all we got, man. And that might be the title of the video. This truth is all we got, you know. Um, my day-to-day -day activities, you know, go to work, you slave for Esau, you pay your bills. Then on weekends, well, we serve the Lord, but we serve the Lord every day, uh, you know, through the power, uh, the strength and the power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that he gives to us, you know, so we can serve him by doing these videos uh, daily. I, I, I told myself, you know, uh, that I was going to try to do at least a video a day, you know, if not more, but to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh gave each and every brother uh, uh, their own measure You see what I'm saying Some brothers in the spirit They might do three videos a day You know But um, I'm You know We at the end of this So You know Pastor Hall Like push 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 Because Hey Tell you the truth I be seeing Guys that's not Hey maybe They led by Satan But Guys that's Not even in the truth They They be putting up videos You know Even though they getting paid for it And they got a uh, uh, you know, uh, a cause, but we got a cause as well, because the scripture said I can't. I'm not gonna uh, grab the scriptures because I'm um, um, recording this right now. But I'm gonna um, try my best to quote the scriptures. The, uh, the scripture said our our uh, our work is not being um, not overlooked. You see what I'm saying? If I paraphrase it right. Um, the, uh, we storing our treasures up in heaven, you know. So don't think that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai ain't um, keeping tabs or looking at us when we go out on the highways and byways, you know, or when we do our videos or when we try our best not to sin, you know, willfully. You know, it's a thing called uh, sinning willfully. You know, we in this system of things, so we sin, um, and we don't even know it. But that's the predicament we in, you know. We we still in captivity to this day, you know. Until Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai deliver us, you know, Lord willing, I'm the elect, Lord willing, hopefully, you know. But hey, 
the two if they I'm not even gonna say it, but I'ma just say this. The two thirds gotta uh they they gonna get they gonna get it on the back end. They go they go they gonna come back on the second round on a second trip. You see what I'm saying? They're gonna come through the elect. And it only makes sense because uh the head the heads of the families, the elect. You know, so you you are the patriot of that that lineage, you know, and it makes sense. We at the end of this, you know, all the hey, how about Shimei uh, Oshar rousing up all the prophets, you know, and he's pitting his spirit in us to speak his words, cause hey, the elder, he made he made perfect sense, man. The water to how about Shimei? I was just thinking, like, the Lord is not getting off his throne to do things when he got. His holy angels. He got Yahweh Shah, first of all, who's second in command. Then he got the holy angels. Then he got all of all the spirits. So it's no need for him to. That's light work to this, this place, you know. To him, that's light work. Just think of your wildest, your wildest imagination, your wildest dreams. The heavenly Father go way beyond that, and that wow. That blew me. That blew my mind, man. You know, Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is not going to get off his throne. He's the king. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is the king of kings. Yahweh is the most high. He says, there is no other, no God like me. You know? So it's just, it's, it's a privilege to serve the Lord, you know? I Hopefully, uh, wholeheartedly mean that you know and the water for the lord for having mercy on us you know to hopefully let I, I i speak for the brothers in my camp i speak i speak uh for the elders and apostles on down that we the water to you how about you i was shot for allowing us to even get back in good with them because we went off you just think about it all of us went off in our past lives that was us that was us and i'm not i'm not saying that this brother is that brother even though yahweh shah because yahweh shah knew that was the lord he knew that uh john the baptist was elijah but common sense to tell you if you got the spirit that these these men that's pushing the, the truth they were back then you know i can't say that uh the elder at my camp is is uh Joshua or so on but he's somebody he could be you know I'm not but we can't we don't have this uh the the, the spirit yet to say oh yeah that's that's Paul but hey <laughs> it's almost pretty obvious you know Timothy you know uh Paul and Timothy you know it's beautiful though when you, your eyes are awoken and you can see that but the only thing is you want to be humble and because the Lord could take it away just like he gave it to you, he could take it away, you know, and it's all about the elect. It's all about the elect, you know, but I don't want to ramble too much. I'm in the spirit. So that's why I said, hey, this truth is all we got because we at camp tomorrow and I'm, I'm pumped up. I feel I, hey, I feel joyful, you know, even though we go through hardships and all that. Hey, fuck this world, man. Fuck this world. You know, cause we got we got something to look forward to, you know. And guess what? Another thing too, and that's that's a small thing. This is a small thing. We gonna get our women back on our side. I was just in a store, uh, maybe about ten minutes ago, and I was just looking at these. Uh, I was looking at Eve, and I was like, I man, I, I just avoid Eve at all times unless they had a cause some of these hey some of these Eve had a spirit on them. To where though you could see right through their spirit and they be cool as shit, man. But some of them, you just like, uh, let me avoid this at all costs. But imagine, um, the, imagine how the Heavenly Father gonna turn that button and switch it to where though they gonna serve us. Right now, they have respect for the white man. All, everybody do, all the nations, they kiss up to this devil. You know, he, he's the man because the heavenly, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. But guess what? People don't realize. Read. Let's read it again. Let's quote it again. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given 
into the hands of the wicked. Just dig, let's dig a little deeper. Let's go down the rabbit hole a little bit. He gave it. So just like he gave it, he can take it. And that's what he's going to do to Esau. He's going to take it and he's the, he's going to have it to where though the earth is given into the hands of the righteous. All right. So right now we went off. That was our punishment. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked because we went off. But guess what? He's going to turn that knob back. The earth is given into the hands of the righteous. And we're going to have all these heathens bow to us, you know. But for the most part, uh, bow to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, they're going to bow down their hand. And then we come because we represent the Lord to the best of our abilities, you know. We represent the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, the Most High and His Son. We try our best to represent Him. But they going, they going to have to uh, fall in line on our, um, what you call it, our vibration. Right now, this whole world is under Esau's vibration. But guess what? That's about to change, you know. These jakes, man. Right now, we only worried about the elect, you know. But this truth is all we got. This truth is all we got, you know. So that should make us push even harder because we almost up out of here. Every day, every day something happening, you know? Every day something is going down, you know? I just pray that the Lord uh, keep the spirit on me to keep on pushing me and as well as the brothers, you know, from the apostles to the elders all the way down, you know? We, hey, we ain't, we ain't looking down on the brothers that's coming in, you know? I know how I felt when I was first coming in the truth, you know? You, you come humble, but the 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 from the bottom on down just as as important as the top. You know why? I'm I'm gonna give you an example. If you wake up and you ain't got your feet, what you gonna do? How you gonna walk around if you ain't if your damn feet cut off, or even one of your toes? Hey, it was one day I lost a uh, one of my fingernails. I mean my uh, toenails had was like torn off or ripped apart i couldn't even walk so use that as an example of the the body we a body we a body you know yahweh shah washed the uh he washed you you think that the the lord some people oh jesus man the lord cleaned the apost the apostles feet you know he cleaned their feet so the lord so the Lord was a servant to that, really, basically. So, when we doing this truth, we actually servants to those that's coming in. Because we serving you. You know how? We feed you. Uh, Yahweh Shai uh, told Peter, he said, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. And that's all he's worried about. We got one job and we got to do it the best of our ability. It's to feed his sheep. That's the job. He said, feed my sheep. You know, so I hope this lesson was edifying. We got to feed the sheep. I hope you brothers uh, got fed off of this. This truth is all we got, brothers. Till again, Shalom.